Do brain devices have a bright future for computing? Computerized brains are in their young 60s, and they might surprise you with something new just like they did during the first few decades of their evolution. They're currently mostly used for research purposes, but these days those wild computational devices have moved outside the lab and are being adopted for use in everyday life. In order to remain a part of your important daily computing experience, it's important that you're prepared for what artificial minds may be capable of in the future. Most people haven't been around long enough to witness all of that potential innovation. That's why we've created this article, to help inform you about what artificial brains could mean for today's world. Many people believe that brain implants will be the future of computing. Do brain devices have a bright future for computing? Computerized brains are in their young 60s, and they might surprise you with something new just like they did during the first few decades of their evolution. They're currently mostly used for research purposes, but these days those wild computational devices have moved outside the lab and are being adopted for use in everyday life. In order to remain a part of your important daily computing experience, it's important that you're prepared for what artificial minds may be capable of in the future. Most people haven't been around long enough to witness all of that potential innovation. That's why we've created this article, to help inform you about what artificial brains could mean for today's world. Many people believe that brain implants will be the future of computing. With advances in technology, implants are getting more and more popular for disabled people or those suffering from chronic diseases. They can help people with motor disorders improve their function or those with conditions like epilepsy. But brain implants aren't just being used in cutting-edge computing devices. Some companies are using brain-computer interfaces BCIs, that allow people to control computers by sending thoughts or ideas. This technology is still in development, but if it proves successful, it could revolutionize how we use computers. Headsets have enabled the brain to interact with virtual worlds in transformative new ways. Headsets have been around for a few decades, changing the way people interact with the virtual world. Occasional updates are necessary, but current headsets are much more lightweight and allow for more of an immersive experience than their predecessors. Brain implants may be the future of computing. These devices would allow people to use computers without having to use keyboards or mice. This would make it easier for those with disabilities or who are unable to use traditional interfaces. Brain implants have many different applications that are still in development. One of these applications is helping people learn new skills or stay better informed. The brain-computer interface is a device that allows human thought to be translated and understood by computers. Brain-computer interfaces are systems that can help computers interact with our minds. BCI technology makes multiple benefits possible, such as controlling prosthetic limbs or enhancing communication abilities. There are a number of different BCI technologies available, such as electroencephalography EEG. EEGs measure the electrical activity in your scalp and use that data to create a map of your brain waves. This information can then be used to control digital devices or even other humans. BCI is an acronym that stands for Brain Computer Interface. BCI devices can often find use in research, where they are used to track different types of brain activity in order to understand how our brains work and what their impacts are on different activities. BCIs have been shown to be effective for a variety of tasks, such as controlling robotic arms and enhancing communication abilities. The possibilities are endless and there's no telling where BCI technology will take us next. This seed stage startup needs more funding. There are a few reasons why brain implants may not be the future of computing. One is because it requires invasive surgery, can be quite expensive, and might not be sufficient for all applications.
There's also the question of whether we really need or want such an intrusive device plugged into our brains in the first place.